Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress grid layout in just a couple of clicks using Breakdance's grid element. To get started, all we have to do is open up Breakdance, click Add, and look for the grid element. You can also search for grid, and we can click or drag that into our canvas. Just like that, we're ready to create our grid layout. The grid element is a container, so we can drop other elements into the grid element and it'll be laid out in the grid as designated in our settings. So to illustrate that, let's go ahead and drop in some icon boxes and we'll duplicate that a couple of times. As you can see by default, we have four columns in our grid. So let's select the grid element and jump over to the controls here in the properties panel. The most interesting controls, of course, are going to be under the grid section. And you can see here that four items per row is designated. But if we want more or less, we can simply adjust this up and down. And you can see that the content instantly adapts to our new layout. We can also easily adjust the space between items. We can set it to something like zero, or we could set it to 50. We'll go back to something like 32 pixels. And then under the advanced area, we do have a few additional controls to change the item vertical alignment and item horizontal alignment. This will affect the position of elements within a grid cell. We can also choose to use original item dimensions. Let me go ahead and drop in another couple of elements. Let's do an icon and an image. This will allow us to illustrate those settings a little bit better. So now we can go back to the grid, back to advanced, and if we adjust the vertical alignment, you're gonna see that the icon moves around according to the alignment that we've chosen. Same for horizontal alignment. And then original item dimension is mostly gonna be noticeable on images. So let's close that out and take a look at our other options. Let's get rid of these elements here we're back to our neat little grid and we'll go to the background section. We can adjust the background color of the grid container itself. And of course we can set a background image or gradient if we'd like, as well as an overlay and a transition duration. Then if we go over to the container section, we can adjust the width, minimum height, padding and borders. And finally, we have our standard spacing control that allows us to insert some margin on the top and bottom of this element. And one of the best parts about this element is that our items per row is responsive. So if we want, say, four items per row on desktops, we can then jump down to one of our breakpoints and adjust it to three or two. And moving on down through these, we can make bespoke adjustments per breakpoint to ensure that it looks great. So then as the screen resizes, that grid is going to adapt. And here's a good illustration of that use original item dimensions option. It's restricting these elements to the size that they actually are instead of stretching them. If we turn that off, you can see that when the grid goes down to one item per row that it behaves a little bit better. So let's go back up to desktop. And that's how to easily create a WordPress grid layout using Breakdance's grid element. Again, this is Elijah from Breakdance and thank you for watching.